If you see the exposure changing on my video, up and down, up and down, I ain't responsible for that. I've got fluorescent light, I've got natural sunlight, and I've got an autofocus and exposure setting that I can't get right by the phone. So sue me. Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to Lloyd Brown Music. And on today's weekend producer, I am going to be making what is called a $10 beat. Now, some of you might be saying, $10? I'm a Grammy winning producer. My beats don't go out for less than bills, brethren. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that I'm gonna be making a beat using a plugin that costs less than $10, around eight pounds and 90 odd pence. To put it in some kind of perspective, that is less than the price of a pack of 20 Benson and Hedges gold cigarettes. Now, I used to be a smoker back in the day. I remembered when cigarettes used to cost one pound and you can literally get a pack of 10 cigarettes in a vending machine on road. Back in that day, dear. Can't be having them things in that. People broke into them on a daily. But anyway, I digress. Now you might be asking, what is the plugin in question? Now in music production video circles, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. And the plugin in question is called Expand 2. Now why have I chosen Expand 2? Well, there's many different reasons which I will go into when I get into the lab. But two of the primary reasons why I decided to make a video utilizing this plugin is number one, it is very, very, very durable. It's a very durable plugin to basically use. And I think it's aimed squarely at the entry level producer. But having said that, it leads on to reason number two. Now a producer by the name of Noah Shabib, AKA 40, 40 in the UK is Drake's producer. And it's been widely circulated that 40 use this plugin on some of Drake's beats. Now, if it's good enough for him, it good enough for me. Simple things, run titles. Don't tell you I'm not average. Spread butter on a boy like a sandwich. LB on a musical rampage. Been a response for collateral damage. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, no response on the weekend producer. Okay, so here we are in the laboratory right about now and we have an empty instance of a Cubase project, okay? So before I go any further, I just wanna let you know that I've set the tempo to around 95 BPM. Let's just um, create an instrument track. Um, press T, instrument, and let's go for the expand two. Okay, so here we go, it's right here. Right, so I'm gonna add that track. Pretty much looks like this. All right, now, the thing that I really, really, really like about this is that you can really go to town in your sound design. Um, it's not one of these workstations where you just have one MIDI channel and it just offers the one sound per MIDI channel. You've got four sounds you can literally stack on top of each other and you can design each sound to be panned a certain way, to have two effects, two customizable effects on it, two designated effects as it were. And you literally can just stack it up and just create a whole myriad of different sounds within the application itself. I'm not even gonna go into that right about now. I'm just trying to make a beat just to show anyone who's on an entry level kind of vibe, the capabilities of this bit of kit. As you can see, the first section here i've got a massive pad section but you can literally just click that and you have all of these sections here and within all of these sections you've got another drop down menu of like a gazillion sounds whole heap of sounds whole heap so straight away you're getting value for money i'm going to look for a loop a simple loop we're on 95 bpm so if we go up to what 93 plus pop hop and if I press on a key you 
that sounds fine to me. I'm gonna record that. Okay, so the MIDI length is fine for me. Now, what I like to do um, with workstations like this is that if there's a sound that I like, I don't really like to kind of keep MIDI information up there too long. If it's something that I like and it's something that I'm not going to change, I always render in place. Now, I don't know for any other DAWs what that function might be called in your particular DAW, but in Cubase it's called render in place and it just literally, it renders this MIDI file into audio. I'm gonna go into edit, render in place, render with current settings. And the good thing is that I can render, I can render it dry or I can render it with the effects that I've basically placed upon the file. So I'm just gonna render with the current settings. Nothing more, nothing less. Right, okay, so as you can see, it has basically created an audio version of that MIDI file. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to name that drum loop. And then take that MIDI file off the project. And if we play it, it should sound something like this. Okay, so we got that. Now, one thing that is important to me when it comes to any plugin that creates beats, that creates sound, is that sound can be manipulated, whether it be from a $2 plugin or a $500 plugin. Just because you have a $500 plugin, that doesn't mean to say that it's gonna make the sound any better. It's gonna make your production skills any better. It's just how you manipulate the sound. And I'm a strong believer in the restriction aid creativity, because if you haven't got a lot to work with, you're gonna be really creative as to how you're gonna create the sounds from such a limited situation, but with this now, you can actually expand the plugin by creating and manipulating different sounds than the stock sounds you basically have here within Xband 2. But that's as you progress in music production. But for now, this loop is totally fine, totally fine. All right, so let's go into Xband again. What else we can come up with? Right, let's go into percussion. All right, I like a bit of djembe. All right, click on that. And let's see what sound we got for the djembe. Okay, let's just try something with that. Okay, call that on top. That sounds fine to me. Right, so let's just uh, rinse and repeat. Render in place. Okay, call that djembe. Get rid of the old MIDI file. And we're still on the one instance of expand. So we're not sucking out our whole heap of CPU and memory and all that stuff. So it's all good. So let's just see how it sounds so far. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Right, so we got the natural percussion. Let's just see what we got here. Right, I'll try to record that properly. A little less velocity, I think. Okay, so out of those two, I think the first the first set is good. So let's get rid of those. Come out of that. 
shrink that, double that, glue that. Let's right, see how that sounds. Okay, let's just edit that a little bit. So the last one of each section, I'm gonna take those down a bit. Nope, wrong move. There you go. Right, take that down. Right, let's see what we've got here. Okay, that's fine. And you find that once you commit to audio, there's no real turning back, especially when you've deleted the um, the MIDI file, because that's what you've basically got. So if you want to manipulate it further, I'm sure you have some kind of a sampler within your application that you can manipulate the speed and the tempo and the pitch of the sample as well. But just to get a straight-ish, kind of beat that doesn't sound too out of place out of step out of tune I hugely recommend rendering to audio because it will just keep you focused as to what you need to do for the next step speaking of which um, I need to name this let's name this Congos okay so we got that uh, let's see how that sounds Okay, that's cool. All right, so next up, what else do we need? We still need something in that high register. Okay, so on auditioning those two instances, I can take out that one, don't need it. Come out of that shrink the instance, double the instance, glue the instance, let's play that, okay what I am going to do, um, because it's panning over to the right, I'm going to make it mono and I'm going to use manipulator because I don't want the instrument dictating to me where that is going to basically be situated in the mix. All right, so, so let's just hear it before manipulator. So you can hear it's on the right. Okay, right, so let's go into manipulator. And this is another free plugin you can get as well. So I'm just gonna make it mono. Play it again. Right, so that's made it mono. So in doing that, I can render in place. And that scraper, what, what do they call it? I, I can't remember what you call it, but anyway, I'm gonna call it a scraper. So now the scraper is in mono. So I can pan that wherever I want to pan it. Okay, so let's just come out of that. Listen to this. Okay, so I'm still gonna stay on the, um, on the percussion, see what we got. I'm gonna use this clave. Okay, velocity is good. Okay, so rinse and repeat. Right, let's call that clave. Get rid of that. 
So you can see a nice little vibe is building just from the one plugin. But if you want to go even deeper and stack four sounds within the one instance, the, the possibilities are just endless, man. Okay, yeah, I think I think that's enough. Yeah, for a loop, that's that's more than enough, right? So, let's get some melodies going on in here. So, what we're gonna choose? Yo, 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 Alan, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. And now, a word from my sponsors. Anarchy Audio Works are proud to present their new line of six VST plugins available now. Vocalator Pro. Anarchy Comp, LFO Pro, Pulsar, Beef, and Duplex. In addition to the recently released Synth Essentials, all at a heavily discounted price. And as an extra incentive, further discounts have been added on top of the current discounts. By using the discount codes in the description box below, you will get a one-time only additional 20% off the sale price currently advertised. Not only that, but the huge discount bundle on offer where you can save £290 with the Total Anarchy Bundle, you can get all of their plugins and more for one crazy low price of £180. That's a huge saving of £290 from the original price of £470 if all plugins and samples were bought separately. That's not including the 20% discount you can get on top if you use my discount code at checkout. And there's more. If you join the Facebook AudioWorks family group, you can get one gigabyte of free samples. The AudioWorks family is a community for music producers, composers, musicians, and artists from all genres to gain and share knowledge, network, and discuss all things music creation, where you can find the best deals on VST plugins, sample libraries, software, studio equipment, musical instruments, and other helpful for music production resources. In addition to that, there are also regular free giveaways and early access releases exclusive to the group members for sample packs, contact libraries, DAW templates, effects, and so much more. So what are you waiting for? Check out anarchyaudioworks.com for their brand new selection of plugins and so much more besides. Anarchy Audio Works. <laughs> Try again. Okay, try that. Okay, so we'll do the same with that. Render in place. I'm just kind of thinking ahead because the sound that I'm basically playing is not necessarily going to be the sound when it's actually finished, but it's in that register that I want the sound to sound. So, um, all right, cello. Okay, get rid of that. Have a look at some harmonics e piano. Let's have a look. Okay, try that. Render. Okay, E piano. Okay, get rid of that.
Okay, and I'm just gonna put a bass line on top of that, just as a skeleton of the beat. Not really gonna go too much into the whole intricacies of certain rudiments and things like that. It's just to create a nice little vibe to begin with. I'm going to take the liberty in cheating a little bit and use another plugin, one of my go-to bass plugins. I've got like around three or four, but on this occasion, I'm going to use a synth bass and it is the Martinique key bass. It impressed me so much when I played it. I linked the guys at Martinique and they furnished me with some more plugins that they had available. And I've done a review on that and you can see that review in the card above. So let's go for the key bass, add that track. Okay, and there is a key bass. Straight out of the box and you've got the settings in here that can tailor the bass you want to make. All right, so let's come out of that. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a different style. Yeah. Lloyd Brown music. Working on expand too. Yeah, yeah. With a little help from Martinique Bass. Yeah. Putting you in a different groove. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 oh. Yeah, that's basically a little vibe, a little groove that I've got there. So in summary, expand two, and I'm not even digging into it too tough. You can see I can put four different sounds in that and stack up the sounds, create my own hybrid of customized sounds and use that in one instance, in one MIDI channel. So imagine you doing that for like 16 MIDI channels, man. The possibilities are endless and it's all for the price of less than $10. The price of 20 cigarettes. And you know the saying, what don't kill you, make you stronger. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, back to the studio. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, me trying to create a beat using Xpand 2. I hope that this has inspired you in knowing that you can still make good beats using budget plugins from an entry level. If you want to get into the Omnispheres and the Nexus 3s and all that kind of stuff, that's up to you if you've got the money. It doesn't mean that utilizing cheap plugins is going to give you a cheap sound. Anyway, it's with that, I'm gonna bid you guys adieu. And as always, you've done all the cool people, please, now I beg you do. I've steered from all kind of foolishness. And until I link up with you on the next exciting episode of Lloyd Brown Music, people stay blessed. I'm out of here. Maganski.